remember what happened last? It's fine. I'll refresh y'all's memory. So let's load into the game. <laughs> now, I remember why I stopped, too. I literally remember why I stopped. So I stopped right here. You see that? That's a dinosaur or a dragon or something in Star Wars. So I remember... <laughs> Look at those dead bodies. Look at all these dead bodies around this guy. So there was a guy. We, we came up here, and there was a guy that was like, man, I'm tired of this. I'm about to go take care of the, the dragon myself. And then he runs into the cave and just dies, like instantly dies. So then we go into the cave. The dragon stands up, and then it just says, game over. You've been killed, like Dark Souls. In other words, we didn't even get to fight it. It just, just kills us. So we got to probably talk to this goon right here. Where's he at? Right here, this freaking Goomba. Comad Fortuna, right, this guy. But before we continue with that, let's also check up. Oh, that's right, we're, wait, we're here because the star map. There is a crypt dragon, a, a cryat dragon in a cavern in the eastern dune sea. The beast will have to be dealt with before any search of the star map can be dealt with, or can any search for the star map can be made. So most likely the star map, which is what we need, so that way we can get more information on where to find the secret to how Malik got his power, and also hopefully to how to stop Malik. It's, in that, it's either in that cave, or we gotta go through the cave, but we can't go through the cave with that dragon in there, otherwise we literally die. And that's right, I remember I died to the dragon, and then I was like, yep, you know what, hey, I'm gonna conclude this part, and I haven't played it since. <laughs> Right, but we're gonna talk talk to this this freaking goon and see if he can help us out. You are back. There is still time to pursue the hunt, human. Will you aid me? Because this guy was asking if we could help him with the dragon, even though he already hired somebody. The guy died, and this guy just asked us next. Hey, can you help me? And I'm just like, didn't you just see your guy die? So why are you asking me? Like, do you have no heart, soul, whatever? Like, come on, dude. But let's, we, we have to get his help. Most likely, that's the only way through this thing. <sighs> Why do you want me and not another hunter? You are here, and they are not, because they died. I also didn't know the size of my quarry until I was tracking him. And perhaps there are other reasons. Yes, I know there's other reasons. Just tell me the reasons. I tried to get the help from one other, but you saw him die in the lair? Yeah. He lacked experience. I usually hunt for the skill of it but must make an exception today. I want newcomers to understand the proper intent behind the hunt, no matter the methods we use. Yeah, right. What kind of cookie cutter Disney answer was that? I want, I want new hunters to understand the, the proper intent. To, dude, come on, bro. Just quit beating around the bush. Why do you actually want my help? Dude, like, come on. Why would I want to do this? We each have our reasons. You might select challenge or glory as your own. I, no, I'm not doing it for either of those. When bull dragons reach this size, it is rumored that they have a number of pearls within them. You would receive a generous share. I don't want the money. Actually, wait, I do. I actually do want the money. But I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this so I can continue my quest to save the galaxy. Fine, let's just, let's just help him, man. Because we need his help. Because this guy knows some secret to stopping this thing. I'll help. Just give me more information about how. We must bait the great beast out of hiding and ambush him swiftly. There is no room to engage him in the lair. And his hide will repel blaster fire. So we gotta, we gotta get him out the cave. I have placed mines around the mouth of the cave. We must coax him out. But this is the end of his season of hibernation. It will take much to rouse him. The food of a beast this size is almost exclusively banthas and foolish hunters, if we are not careful. To lure him out, we must lure his food to tempt him. Dude, I don't like the way these, his species, this guy, I don't like how they sound when they talk. Is that like racist? I'm sorry, I don't like how they sound. They get on my nerves, they're annoying to listen to. I, I, I can't stand their voice, I don't like their voice at all. Reese, you said that I see the new season for Overwatch came out today. Yes, I did. I read the patch notes, and I actually still have Overwatch installed. I don't know if I, I'll probably wait to play it until the new character comes out. I saw that they buffed my main, <laughs> Life Weaver. I'm glad they buffed him. So that's all I really honestly care about. But it's not enough, though. It's not going to be enough. What are the Banthas? Hmm. How would you lead the Banthas here? They have... I can't stand his voice. They, have, they too, have their food of choice. We must find some bantha fodder to lead the banthas here. 
I have a few ideas about where they may be found. Sand people keep bantha herds, so some of them must have fodder on hand or in their settlement. Oh, bantha must be those like, big old woolly mammoth looking things. Okay, if you find fodder and bait the banthas here, the mines will deal with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not exactly a glorious hunt, but it will ensure the safety of the region. The safety of the region? So if this thing gets loose, this thing can literally wipe out a whole region? I mean, probably it literally killed my entire squad by just standing up. We didn't even have a chance to fight against it. The game didn't even initiate the battle sequence. We just died. <laughs> huh. If it were as simple as that, you would have done it yourself. So there's more to this that you're not telling me. There is one added threat. The sand people regard banthas as sacred. Attempting to feed the herd in this area will likely lead to an attack. We are far from the weakened tribes around Anchorhead. The sand... I'm turning all the way down. I can't hear him. The sand people of this region are strong, fierce, and will think nothing of killing you. Be careful. That, that's all he has to say. My bad. I know y'all have to hear him. I have to turn it all the way down in my head so I can't stand hearing that thing talk. I'm sorry. I just can't. <laughs> I can't. Man, I can't. Ugh. More sand people, huh? <sighs> Yet more sand people. I've dealt with their kind before. Turning it down again. <laughs> you likely mean the tribe that has been harassing Serska Corporation. This group is used to the deep desert. They appear to be much more dangerous. Hmm. Oh, I already have the fodder? Alright, check it out. I already have your fodder. Good. Now, there is a herd that moves out in the desert. Lead them here, approach them with the fodder, and lead them here. That, he said that twice. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I wish you luck against the sand people. When you return, the dragon will fall. I wish it could be under more sporting circumstances. But we must do what the circumstances call for. Stop lying! I had hope for a mirror of my father's expedition, but that will have to wait. Stop lying. You don't want you don't care about sportsmanship. You don't care about doing this the honorable way. You just want the pearls to get rich. I honestly think he's gonna betray us or something. I don't I don't want the pearls. Keep them. I don't care. I'm just trying to literally save the galaxy. I don't got time for your Oh, goodness gracious alive. Reese, you said you don't think it's racist? Okay, thank you. Um I wasn't too sure, honestly. <laughs> it just you know. It just doesn't sound good when you say it out loud, but okay, thankfully it doesn't sound bad. Okay, how do I... I have to be careful exiting here, because if I try to go through these things, the game says I can't. And I remember how I got this bait. He, he's calling it fodder. I remember how I got the bait, most likely when I cleared out that camp of the sand people. Look at these things. They look so innocent. Oh, the bantha. Vanille, look. The bantha perks up. As you approach, obviously attracted to the smell of the fodder you are carrying. The whole herd falls in step. Oh my gosh, you're the sand people. There we go. Gosh dang, dude. The sand people are absolutely relentless. They're just called the sand people, too. Like, the game doesn't know what else to call them. What else to call them? They're just the sand people, dude. Oh, I didn't miss the battle system. I'll say that. All right, rapid fire. Let's get it going. This is an elite warrior. Oh, I gotta turn this down. It's blasting my eardrums out. Oh, I forgot. I'm the only person with force power. Oh, we got poison. Man, it don't matter. You can. Oh, wait. He just got. Dude, is this about to be a hard fight? Oh my goodness. Who's throwing stuff at us? Hmm. Oh, wait, I was doing the wrong attack. There we go, sniper shot. There we go. What sniper shot does is it increases the chance of mission firing and and landing a crit. Landing a, uh, landing a crit, a critical hit. Which is huge damage, actually. And she can reliably get that off. I did the wrong attack for him. She can really reliably get that off. There you go. Because her dexterity is high. This guy right here. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, there you go. Push in there. Push in there! Cantorius, get in there. 
Kandorius, get in there. Gun or not, remember. You know what, Kandorius, you focus on this guy. There we go. Safer's got that guy. Dang, she can she can fire this guy from all the way over here. Although, can those blasters reach all that far? Oh, okay, she had to scoot up just a little bit. She had to, she had to scoot up just a little bit. Just a... Dang! You saw that... F okay, so every time I do the force jump, I always do it from when I'm controlling Star Knight. But, but watching it from her perspective, that was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. That was like Apex Legends, like seeing a path. Imagine if a path... No, actually, you know what? That was more like... No, yeah, yeah. That was like watching a path grapple onto you. Y'all ever had a path grapple onto you in Apex? Right? And that, that's actually really a... It's actually really hard to stop that. From, like, once that happens, it's kind of hard to deal with that. You know, you just got to just let it happen, kind of. Yeah. Thankfully, nobody's really... Un I almost say nobody, but the community doesn't actually, like, exploit that and, like, uncover some kind of hidden tech. I'm, I'm sure there's some tech that exists out there that the community just hasn't discovered because, you know, the Apex community doesn't like to experiment and, and uncover tech. They just like to... Oonga boonga. <laughs> But if I played Path, y'all know it'd only be a matter of days, if even that long, before I uncover some, like, secret pathy tech. I don't just mean good grapples. That was a good grapple. I don't mean no, I don't know, no, I'm, listen, no. Just a, a good grapple? Eh, too boring. Okay, we gotta heal. Do I gotta go back to these things? And make them continue following me again? I was actually gonna play Apex. There go more sand people, watch. I'll be so surprised. These things move so slow. They're so adorable. Oh. Okay, no more sand people. Good job. Come, talk to me. I don't want to. Oh, my goodness. I'm moving it. Quickly, be ready. The Banthas are in position and will soon stir our restless prey. I hope the mines do their job quickly. I hope so, too, because I'm not trying to fight that thing. Wait. I'm not ready. I want to actually fast travel back to heal. <laughs> I'm not ready. Oh, boy. Just do your part. Wait. What is that rumbling sound? Oh, boy. He's a big one. Listen, I'm not trying to fight it. You said your minds would take care of every... Look at that thing. This is Star Wars, and this is like Dragon's Dogma type of monster. That didn't do anything. That's it? That's all the minds you got? There better be more. All right, good. Dude, it's not even phasing it. Oh. Oh my gosh, it worked. Mines are broken. We gotta I got tons of mines. I gotta start using them. It is done, and the great beast is dead. To my shame, I'm the stop lying. I was denied a final fight to honor his memories. Hush. No, you weren't. I thank you for your aid, human. You have earned a share of the victory. Such as it is. How do you know, LB? Maybe he actually did want an honorable fight against the... Okay, let, no, he, no, he didn't. No, he did not. He did not. Okay? Otherwise, he wouldn't have held the fact that he wanted to get the pearls for, and, from the beast to us. He wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have held that information from us. We had to pry for that. Okay? All right. Goodness. He wanted to, he wanted to make, that, make it seem as if that's why he wanted to hunt this... For the challenge and the honor and stuff. So that way, when he killed it, nobody else, if anybody else was watching, they wouldn't think anything of it. Does that make sense? Right? Just just trust me. <laughs> All right. Listen. All right. Like, I'm out of here, dude. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. Oh, uh, wait. I've earned a share of the victory? That's what he said? Okay, yeah, sure. I'll take it. <laughs> Dang, it says, this one says, I want more. You will give me all of it. Yeah, no, don't worry. Look, he helped too, Safer. Chill out. Thanks. We did what we had to do. Oh, don't say thanks to this guy. I'll say thanks. Regrettably so. I just hope you remember there were higher reasons for this. No, there weren't. Don't let the spoils be your own. That's the only reason why. You okay, dude, I'm not listening to this guy anymore. All right, give me my share. Thank you. That guy was hard to listen to. So hard that I just muted it. Look at this giant thing. His mouth is the same size as a grown man. Safer is, a, is literally one of the people saving the galaxy. And this thing's mouth is bigger than Safer. His eye? This thing's eye is actually bigger than Safer's head, it, it, it looks like. A grown man's head. This thing's eye is bigger than that. 
That's crazy. The remains? Wait, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I want to actually do this? Why did I pull my lightsaber out? It's dead, but... Why did I pull my lightsaber out? Because I want to save the game. I, actually, yeah, let me save the game. After that, hey, hey, it's free game. Then we can do what, whatever this is trying to say. We're going to do, like, carve it open or something? I mean, save her, save her, pull lightsaber out and everything, dude. Gosh, that sound effect is so iconic. The lightsaber activating, that is such an iconic sound. Is that it? How in the world do you miss? It's dead. It's dead. How do you miss that? I understand it's a CRPG, but, you know, that's why I've, I kind of avoided CRPGs this far in my, in my gaming life. Because a lot of times, it's just hard to suspend my disbelief. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's dead. It's slaying steel. How did you miss that? Why does that require a dice roll? Moving on. Is this the guy that ran in here? No, these are just some random people. Where's the guy that ran in here and died like instantly? This guy right here. Chewed human corpse. This guy was an idiot. He just ran straight in here. Blaster rifle. Jedi master robe? Wait, this is, no, there's no way that was a Jedi. No, I don't, I don't, I'm not buying it. He, he stole those clothes. Crystal. Ooh, for my lightsaber. Oh, wait, we're going to find the, the map in here? What? It's really right there. The star map is right here. Why was that thing in here? Of all the places, that thing chose to stay in here? Right in front of that? The star map? Nerve amplifier. Okay, I guess. Of all the places, it just chose to choose this spot. Anybody else get the feeling that finding this star map in the back of this Crate Dragon's cave is more than just a coincidence? Say, now that we've got the star map, do you think we can leave this planet soon? I've got sand everywhere. I agree. I'm so over this freaking planet, dude. And I still have to figure out if I want to help help Griff, who is Mission's brother, because he wanted us to do some just trashy thing for him. Can I reactivate it? It looks really cool. I guess not. But yes, no, you're exactly correct, Candorius. What a dumb coincidence, huh? Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> you said it, Mission. Let the exchange take care of that slime. For real, though, honestly. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. He ain't gonna turn it around. What if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Correct. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Like, it's important to stick with your family. But is he actually family? Like, he's family. But he's not, like, her immediate family. She doesn't really have immediate family. Because he, he left her on a planet. On a planet that got destroyed. Meanwhile, he's out here just doing what again? And the first, the, the moment he saw her. He said, hey, you got some money I can I can hold? Can I hold some bread? When he left her on that planet. Uh, Mission, I hate to say it, but no one can teach him this lesson. He has to learn it himself. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not going 
Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tack glands for him, things will work out. Or no, he won't. Maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. No, he won't. No, it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Oh, I gained some lifestyle points for telling her the truth. Well, do you want to do a mission? It sounds like she really wants to do it. Let's check. Let's check. Safer. Oh, Safer's really starting to get some blue on him. Safer's really wanted to. I think she wants to help him. If you want to do a Safer, we can. Yeah, what, do you want? what about you, Kandorius? I want to hear some stories. I, I would never ask this in real life. Ever. Ever. That is completely rude and, and insensitive. But Kandorius really wants to tell him. All right, he just really wants to say the story. So go ahead. Hey, do what you want to do, Kandorius. I'm, I'll listen. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, huh? I knew you were a type. <laughs> Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. Hmm. I already know what he means. Because they destroyed those planets. Where did you fight this time, Candorius? We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out Wait, what? the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. He, wait, he said he used okay. That's the that's the scale that we're talking about in Star Wars. The significance of the weaponry that we have here in Star Wars. He said he used some kind of laser to completely disintegrate an asteroid in a picosecond. That's 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 smaller than a millisecond. That's insanity. So for something to exist and then to no longer exist that fast. Wow, dude. Dang, that's crazy, man. Well, uh, did it backfire? Because I don't know what he said after that. I was just so fixated on the fact that he blew up an asteroid with a piece of uh with a with a weapon that destroyed an asteroid y'all understand how big an asteroid is like bigger than my house hang on one second i gotta i literally want to see like the actual size that defines an asteroid stand by how big is a asteroid bare minimum asteroids range in size from vista the largest at about three what the largest asteroid, not the largest asteroid, but the largest asteroid that we know of. You see, but they never word it like that. Science never talks like that. Science always says, it's the largest one in the solar system. No, it's not, you freaking buffoon scientists. That's why, they, that's why, that's why God literally says science is that of the enemy. It's what you're aware of at the time. Gosh. But anyway, the largest asteroid that science and all that that they know of so far is called Vista. And it is an asteroid that is 329 miles in diameter. That's insane. To bodies that are less than... Okay, so some are literally like the biggest one, 300 plus miles. And then there are others that are 33 feet. Okay. In other words, an asteroid is a big old piece of rock. Like, it's a big old, it's a boulder. Bare minimum, a boulder. Or larger. I want to look at this question. This question says, what size asteroid would destroy a city? Impactors in a range of 50 to 140 meters diameter are a local threat if they hit a populated region. And have the potential to destroy cities. How big is 50 to 140 meters? How big is that? So 50 meters is enough to destroy a city? Like, I'm, I recognize meters. But how, how big is that in diameters? 
because meters is a, a, a form of measurement that we use that I used to work with a lot back in my very first career. We use meters instead of like yards and feet. So, okay, so, uh, whatchamacallit? What's this called? Tennis. No, tennis? Yeah, so I, I, uh, a tennis court is 50 meters. So you, so you mean to tell me uh, a, a meteor that's the size of a tennis court, if it strikes earth, if it strikes a city, can destroy a city? A meteor the size of a tennis court can destroy a city? Really? Really? That just doesn't seem right. Look at this question. This question says, would humans survive an asteroid? All life forms would be killed, with the possible exception of whatever that says. The first solution is to settle on another planet and achieve... Wait, 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 wait. Is this asking if a would a human survive being hit by an asteroid, or if an asteroid struck Earth, would humans survive? Because if if it's that one, this one is saying that everything would die. So no asteroid has ever hit Earth for real. Has an asteroid ever hit Earth? I feel like it has. Don't that happen all the time? And no, that's never. <gasps> that's never happened before. When did the last asteroid hit Earth? That's never happened before, unless you believe in the whole asteroid that hit Earth and caused, like, dinosaurs to die or whatever. If you believe in that, then yes. Wow. So that's... I, th I thought asteroids fall into the Earth all the time, like little bitty... Then what, what are those things that fall into the Earth from the sky? I guess that doesn't happen. I guess that's my imagination. So look, we went to the mall earlier today and we bought a new fidget spinner. Right, because I can't find my other fidget spinners because I literally fidget so hard I just toss them into like oblivion and they just never come back. So here's the newest addition to our fidget spinners, aka my fidget spinner. This one is nice and heavy too. This one's got some weight on it. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm pretty sure y'all can definitely hear it, right? My bad. This one is really loud, but it's nice and this is the heaviest fidget spinner I've had yet. It's a nice one. Well, that's crazy, man. So. They have a weapon that is literally capable of destroying, disintegrating, wiping from existence a meteor in a pickle second. And a meteor again. Oh, wait, an asteroid. Excuse me. Wait, asteroid and meteor. Are they the same thing? What is a meteor? Oh, actually, we'll do it like this. Meteor versus asteroid. What's the difference? An asteroid is a small rocky object that orbits the sun. A meteor is what happens when a small piece of asteroid or comet burns up upon entering Earth's atmosphere. But does it hit the Earth? Does it hit the Earth? So a meteor is what happens when it comes into the Earth. Or if like a piece of the of the asteroid breaks off. What is a meteorite? This question says, why doesn't the meteor become a meteorite? What is a meteorite? I thought that was the same thing. A meteor... A meteor is a, uh, like, yeah. A meteoroid is a small body in our solar system that would only become a meteor or to encounter Earth's atmosphere. A meteor doesn't technically become a meteorite unless it survives the journey to the ground. So, okay. So, a meteor is what comes towards the Earth. It doesn't become a meteorite un un until it actually makes contact with the, the surface of the Earth. Understood. Reese, you said, you know, I feel weird because I'm currently playing Roblox that I haven't played in years, and I keep remembering the old days when you took it serious. Nice. So Roblox was like, had an esports team or something? Or you mean like when you used to play the game a lot? Roblox is pretty fire. I I can never get into it. I've tried. But I, I, I like the fact that Roblox is like a game that has... It, it's not a game. It's a... Uh, it's like... It's not like Legos. It's It's... it's 
It's like Fortnite creative mode. I like Fortnite creative more than BR. And I don't think that's really cool. You can create your own game. I thought that was always really cool. When you just leave it up to the to the community to make a game. I think that's really cool. Can a human survive a meteorite? I want to know. Can modern humans survive an asteroid impact? No, I don't. I want to say I'll, I'll type in a meteorite. I guess there's no answer to this one because you would obviously die. <laughs> I don't think any human would survive being struck by a meteorite. I don't think it's possible. I, unless God wants it to be possible, you're not surviving that. You're not surviving that one. I could be the first one, though. Mm, 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 mm. I, I, and then all of a sudden, I, I get like superpowers. I become like Meteor Man. You know, like, my body becomes, like, the thing. I know the, the thing, Fantastic Four is the thing where I'm, like, all rocky and stuff. Yeah. You know, every single time I've seen, like, the thing fight, whenever he gets hurt really hard, some of the rock on him, like, chips off. And when I was younger, I always used to find that really... What's the word? Uncomfortable to watch. I always found that really violent. But why, though? It's like, that's no different than, like, a human getting their, like, arm cut off. Why? I don't know why it was easier for me to handle some a, a human getting their arm cut off in a, in, a, in a show or something than watching the thing get, like, a piece of his rock chipped off on his shoulder or something. I don't know why. It's just, maybe, because, I don't know. I think it's because a human getting, like, a piece of their body, like, cut off can kind of grow it back. Whereas the thing getting a piece of his shoulder chipped off I guess it's like that's that, that's kind of it because I don't know because we can grow our body. Y'all know that human? Yo, yeah, yeah, y'all knew that, right? Humans can grow back pieces of our. We can grow back pieces of our body. We just can't grow back a full limb. Y'all know that, right? So, for example, hmm, this is my arm. Duh. So if if like an alligator were to like, not an alligator, but if like something were to like take a chunk out of my arm, after enough time, it would come back. Maybe not exactly like how it was before, but it would it would heal itself. But I don't think the thing who is literally rock can heal himself. Let me look it up. Can the thing heal himself? Depending, y'all. I hope y'all know who the thing is. Depending on which incarnation of the character, even though oh that's right, I forgot this is Marvel we're talking about. Since this is Marvel, there's like a billion different versions of one specific character. Because of his, oh, Animanium Skeleton. I didn't know that the thing was anima, his skeleton was Animanium. If y'all know what that is, that's like an, it's literally an unbreakable, unmeltable, unchip awayable It's not structure, but like substance type thing, you know what I mean? But we, we say it's unbreakable, but it probably is actually breakable, we just haven't we just haven't used anything strong enough to break it, right? Because nothing's actually unbreakable. Hmm. I don't know. I always felt like the thing was was really weak as well. Obviously, he's stronger than a normal human, but I always felt like compared to the rest of the Fantastic Four members, he's just really underwhelming. He reminds me a lot of the Guardians of the Galaxy. That one member. Ah, oh, I forgot his name. The one that's like really strong. He reminds me of of that character. What's his name? Hang on. Guardians of the Galaxy. Members. Not Groot. Drax. But I'm talking about the movie version, not the comics. I'm sure I'm sure Drax Yeah, hey, welcome Legend, welcome. Nice. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the emote from Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Drax in the comics is like absolutely broken, maybe because everybody's broken in in the comics. But in the movie, Drax just seems completely like out outscaled by by Quill, by Groot. Uh, Groot's broken by Rocket or uh, Rocket Raccoon, by Nebula, by Gamora. Wait, Yon Yon, I'm looking at this list right now. Wait, this is spoilers. Well, I don't think I'll ever see any of the other ones, though, honestly. Yandu? 
This is a villain. He becomes a he becomes a good guy. He was a good villain too. He was I think he was the main villain in the first one. The blue guy that had like a mohawk kinda. He was a good villain. He was a really good villain. You know why? I just realized. Because of the actor that played him. <laughs> The actor that played him, he did a really good job. Legend, you said, what about the guy that whistles for the arrow? That's him. That's the guy I'm talking about. Let me make sure, though. Let me just fact check. But that's the guy. Yondu Power Arrow. Yep, that's him. That guy right there, that's what I'm talking about. That's His power was really broken, too, wasn't it? <whistles> you know what I mean? Just, like, go straight through you. And, like, let's look at the arrow. It's called the Yaka Arrow. That guy was broken. The Yaka Arrow is a whistle-controlled arrow made from Yaka that uses technology native to the Centaurian people. The Yaka Arrow was Yandula's, y or Yandu, that guy, Yanduta's favorite weapon. Highly skilled in its usage. Man, I'm, I did that dude was super skilled with it. Man. That thing was crazy. It was a, it was a freaking singular arrow that caused so much trouble for the members of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Gosh, dang, dude. Gosh, man. A singular arrow. But it's not just any arrow. It's the Yaka arrow. But still. And that's a really cool... I mean, shout out to... That was actually... What's his name? Who created the concept of the Yaka arrow? I don't know if Stan Lee did or not. But whoever did, right? From the from the, from the, the comics. Because it first existed in the comics. Whatever whatever writer did. Because if y'all didn't know this. I'm sure y'all did. And the comics and stuff. Stan Lee created like the the structure of Marvel, but he didn't cre create everything in Marvel, right? He actually there's there's endless other writers in that write stories in Marvel, right? And some people come up with some of the most creative things. I'm telling you, right? But yeah, like that one character from Marvel, I forgot her name, but she's her power is essentially. She's like one of the strongest entities in the Marvel, not, not not the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but in Marvel, period. I forgot her name, but she essentially, she reads comics. And she reads about the superheroes. She reads their comics. So, now let's pause. Well, but in their, in their world, aren't they real? Yes, they are. But that's what makes her so strong. She breaks the... Dude, it's so crazy. Hang on. Let me see if I can find her name. And I'll just... I'll, I'll put it into the chat so y'all can read about her or something. She's... It's so crazy. She goes into the comics and can make herself however strong as she wants. But she exists in the same world as those characters, but reads about them in comics. But the, Oh, dude, it's insanity. What is her name? Hang on. I don't even know how to like type it in. Marvel. Oh, she's she's actually really good friends with Deadpool. <laughs> of course. Character that reads comics. I'm gonna just type it in like that. Who reads the comics? What? I'm gonna just type it in like this. Marvel strongest characters. And you know that's that's super Super debatable, the strongest characters and nah, da, 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 da. But there's a specific character, and I find her to be one of the strongest, just because of what her power entails. I mean, it's just it's absolutely ridiculous. And again, I'm not referring to the cinematic universe. I'm referring to the comics. None of these is not. Oh, is this her? Is this her? No, this isn't her. No. Hmm. Man, I forgot where I found out about her. Because I, I was looking into it for quite a while once, once I, like, un uncovered her. And I was like, dude, that's it's insane. That's insane. It's so creative. I've never seen anything like it. I just forgot her name. But, of course... Deadpool ended up killing her, but that was in that spinoff thing. Deadpool kills everybody, but they've done that for it's not just Deadpool, they've done that for like every 
every like popular Marvel character has their own comic where they like kill everybody, like the, the full cast of like whatever. That's why those aren't canon. <laughs> That's why those are not canon. That's the only thing you have to be careful of when you read the Marvel comics as well. You can't take everything so serious because, yeah, it's like I don't know. It's kind of like when it's kind of like creating your own character. It feels like, you know, it's so easy. If you were to make your own character, nine times out of ten, you would want your character, and if your character is you, to be the most strongest person out there, right? I'm not gonna be able to find it. I forgot her freaking name. Uh, I'm gonna type it in like I'm gonna type it in like this. Marvel. Wait. Strongest females in Marvel comics. I'm gonna type it in just like that to limit the my my pool by one the comics and then two by the females. And we're not using screen rants. Definitely not, dude. Their their lists are always so so casual. Hmm. I know there was a female Thor. I never knew that. Let's see. Hmm. Dude, I'm. I don't think I'll be able to find it. Most powerful woman in Marvel and DC Comics. And again, this stuff is subjective. You could argue a lot of people. Well, this is the strongest. This is the strongest. Well, this is the strongest. That's why you got to be very careful with stuff like that. All right, this is the last list I'm going to look through. This is the last one. I'm going to type it in like this. Strongest female Deadpool fall. I'm going to say it like that. They're really, they're friends, too. I said I was that was the last time. But I just really want to find it, dude. What? Why is it showing one punch man? You see what I mean? I've had enough of this. I've had enough. I've, I've, I've seen enough. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it just show One Punch Man? I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Reese, you said, I was thinking Scarlet Witch, but that's probably wrong. Scarlet Witch showed up a lot on those lists. So Scarlet Witch is very strong. And... Is it is it Kamala Khan? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That might be it, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Kamala Khan. This is the character from that one game, from the the. Wait a second. This is the character from that one game, the, the Adventures game, that was terrible. <laughs> That's what she looks like. That's what this character looks like. I think this is that character from that game. If it is, this is not her. No, 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 no. This isn't her. This is Miss Marvel. Oh, this is like Captain Marvel's like descendant. I haven't seen that movie, Captain Marvel. What the heck, Squirrel Girl? Squirrel Girl is a suit is a superhero appearing in Mar in American comics published by Marvel Comics. What can she do? What's her power? <laughs> she looks like the most dude. She looks like the most underwhelming superhero. She looks dude. Come on, man. Who made this character? Squirrel Girl was created by writer Will Murray and artist Steve D D Ditko, making her debut in The Coming of Squirrel Girl. What is her powers? Her real name is Doreen Allen, Allen Green. Doreen was born to Dorian and, Mar and Maureen in Canada. When she was 10 years old, Doreen discovered she could communicate with squirrels. She suffered a modification in her genes for unknown reasons that granted her squirrel-like abilities. Okay, hang on, though. Before we laugh at this, 
Spider-Man's name is Spider-Man, yet he turned out to be one of the most deadly, most powerful, biggest threats to like any villain that exists in the Marvel or in the Marvel universe. Spider-Man, whose name is literally a spider, is one of the most popular heroes and has so much potential. So let's let's not laugh now. Hang on, she might be broken. Think and it, and it says it says right here, she suffered a modification in her genes for unknown reasons that granted her squirrel-like abilities. Let's think about squirrels. Squirrels can do a lot of things. A lot of things. Watch this. Things a squirrel can do. Squirrels can find food buried underneath a foot of snow. So squirrels have immaculate sense of smell. You know how Spider-Man has a, his spidey senses? Oh, my, which is completely broken, by the way. I've always thought that's one of the most broken abilities. And he can see the future for a split second. At, and some versions of Spider-Man, his spider senses are so strong, he can see, like, seconds into the future. Sometimes minutes into the future. It's crazy. Y'all ever seen the movie Next? So, anyway, she her, her sense of smell is, 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 in, is super strong. She can probably identify, oh, careful, he's got a gun, by just smelling the gunpowder on, on, the, on, on the person's gun that they have, like, hidden away. She's probably really good at, a, at if, if a building has bombs, she'd be the person to take because she can smell the, the, the component four and bombs. That's the compound that's used to create explosives and stuff. She, she okay, listen, this ain't, this ain't funny anymore. This is serious. Second, a squirrel's front teeth never stop growing. So, uh, I guess she can bite you really hard. <laughs> All right, hey, it's not funny. Number three, squirrels may lose 25% of their buried food to thieves. Okay, number four, they zigzag to escape predators. Okay, so she, she, she's got movement. Because y'all know squirrels got movement. Squirrels got movement. One second they can be here. And you're like, hey, squirrel. Pew! Squirrels got movement. Perma octane steel. Number five, squirrels can pretend to bury a nut to throw off potential thieves. So she's probably really intelligent as well. Deceptive, huh? Number six, a newborn squirrel is about an inch long. Um, okay. Number seven, humans introduce squirrels to most of our major city parks. Number eight, squirrels are acrobatic, intelligent, right there. And adaptable. In other words, let's honestly just imagine a female Spider-Man, but she can't shoot webs. But she's probably much faster than Spider-Man, though. Much faster. She's probably literally faster than Spider-Man, honestly. Because Spider-Man's fast, but Spider-Man's not known for, like, his, his speed on the ground with his two feet. But he's fast, faster than the average human. But that's not why we know him. Whereas her, she, nine times out of ten, if she literally has everything a squirrel has but a human, she's fast. And she can climb walls. A lot of versions of Spider-Man and, the, and, the, and you know, the Marvel Universe, they can't climb walls na naturally. Oh, wait, some, some of them can, but some of them can't. It's, it's like a modification of, like, their suit and stuff. And some, some versions of Spider-Man can't fire, can't, can't fire webs unless they have like a thing in their suit she doesn't need any of that with her suit she can automatically climb walls and stuff wow now i think about it fighting against squirrel girl <laughs> would probably be ultra annoying she was a part of the new avengers wait what whoa Why do we always see the same old heroes, huh? Why do we always see the same old heroes? The same heroes, dude. 
Y'all understand there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of, of other heroes. We see the same cast. We see the same cast of heroes all the time, dude. I want to see some Squirrel Girl movies, man. I want to see some Squirrel Girl movies. I, I want to see some Squirrel Girl movies. All right, anyway, my bad, Candorius. My bad. Hey, did that missile, that did that freaking weaponry that is able to destroy an astronaut, that if an, ast or an astronaut, that if an asteroid were to hit the Earth, we would all die pretty much probably. But it, but did that thing backfire? I don't know. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on the side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it, something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. What? what? Candorius, what are you talking about, dude? How is this going to become a mission? At some point, this is going to evolve into a mission. Yeah, I understand that, right? Where does the mission come from in any of this? We're going to, like, find the asteroid or something? Or find the weapon? Maybe? Find the weapon and destroy the weapon? Maybe. Something like that, huh? Okay, so what happened next? I, I, I want to know. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire. Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. Huh? So that wasn't an astronaut, that was a ship. It was a ship disguised as an or actually an astronaut. It was a ship disguised disguised as an asteroid. I just realized. Astronauts and asteroid. Does astro mean space? Let's see. I think astro means space. What does astro mean? Astro means relating to the stars, celestial objects, or outer space. Astro means space. Pretty cool. So what does not mean? What does not mean? Hmm. Not means a... Oh, not means seller. So a space seller, that's asteroid, a space seller. That's pretty cool. So look, I, I didn't know this. So this new fidget spinner that I have, you don't have to just spin it right here in the middle. You can also hold, you see these three spots right here? You can hold it in right here and like literally spin it like this too. That's actually pretty cool. My other fidget spinners don't do that. It's just the part in the very middle. That's it. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Okay, so then asteroid, roid. What does roid mean? What does roid mean? Because not means seller, and astro means space, and an astronaut is a space seller. I was about to call it that. But what does roid mean? Roid means an. Uh, that's it? That's the only definition for roid? There's no way. It says right here a roid is an, anab an anabolic steroid. Which we know that. Hopefully, if you had to know that. But there there has to be more to it than just that. Wait, let me make sure I'm spelling asteroid correct first. Asteroid. R-O-I-D. So then why is an asteroid called an asteroid? I understand asteroid because space. But roid is an anabolic performance drug. That's, that's the only definition it says here. An anabiotic steroid. Stare? Roid. I'm just typing it like this. I, I don't want to have to cheat, but I'm just cheat. Why is an asteroid called an asteroid? An asteroid is a minor planet. An object that is neither a planet nor a comet. That, that that's, didn't answer my question. 
I only, I asked. Oh, I've been typing it in wrong. Asteroid isn't spelled A S T R O. It's spelled A S T E R. Aster. So what does aster mean? What does aster? It's asteroid, not asteroid. Asteroid. Why do people say asteroid? It's asteroid. A S T E R, not A S T R O. And aster is a unique daisy like windflower. That doesn't ask. Wait, wait, that's known for its star shaped flower head. Hmm. So, right here, what is the meaning of aster? Aster, any various, chiefly fall blooming, blooming, leafy stem composite herbs. Often shown with a with a containing a disc, flowers are both disc and okay. Why? Let's go back to the initial question. But now let's spell it correctly. Why is an asteroid called an asteroid? Not asteroid. Okay, so Hirschkel has long been credited with coining the term asteroids, derived from a Greek word meaning star-like. Because remember, aster is a, a is a herb or a, a flower that looks like a star. And this and th it's called an asteroid because it's derived from the Greek word meaning star-like. Because he introduced the term at a meeting of, of London Royal Society in May 1802 and later published it in the Society's Philosophical Transactions. So there's our answer. That's a pretty trash re reason, I'm going to be completely honest. I, I can't believe that literally almost everybody calls it asteroid. I was calling it that too. I didn't know it was called asteroid. I thought it was asteroid. I thought it was A S T R O. It's A S T E R. Asteroid, not asteroid. A that 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 changes everything because astro, astro means space. That's a dumb. We gotta we gotta rework the word, man. We gotta rework the word. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Hmm. That's more than enough, Candorius. I've learned so much thanks to your story. Thank you. Nothing more for now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Mm-hmm. And something done, done right, you definitely constantly do. Thank you so much, Candorius, for your services. For real. Honestly, truly, thank you. Honestly, truly, thank you, Candorius. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got some more crystal. Fantastic. We already hit this. Yeah, we already hit that. Why did it sound like I was opening up the rubble? Like it was some kind of box. <laughs> like some kind of container. Well, we're done on this on this dumb planet. We are done on this planet, dude. I'm out. Oh, I can't fast travel yet. Okay, now I can. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, it's him again? They just fire missiles at us? Oh, no, man, I turned their thing off. I'm so sick of this guy. You've let me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. I see Bro. you brought some backup, Kalo. Realized we were a bit too much to handle on your own. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Kalo is, is utter trash. I thought he was so cool in the beginning of the game. Three. Two. One. You know, I thought he was so cool in the beginning, but this guy is, is absolute trash. I don't want to work on a deal with this guy. I want this guy dead. You traveled a long way just to die, Kalo. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. All right, let's kill him. Can I say the game? <laughs> oh, I can. Okay, let's say this game, dude. I'm so I'm so sick of dealing with this guy, man. 
I'm so sick of dealing with him. He's annoying. I thought he was cool. I really, I, I thought he was going to be a party member when I initially met him. He's even allowing us to heal ourselves. What a good guy. Your bed's about to die. All right, squad, y'all ready? Hang on, let's make sure everybody is fully kitted up for this fight. They got guns, so let's, you know what, let's see. I'm going to use a battle stimulant. And I'm going to activate some armor. And mission, uh, actually, no, Candorius. Let's see. Stamina, adrenaline, al al what does that do again? Alcracity? Alcracity, what does that do? Adrenal Alcracity. Oh, we have we still have all these mines, dude. It's it's so hard to like, or at least I can't figure out me personally a scenario where I would use the mines in 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 combat in this game. They just seem like it's one of those things that it seems cool, but because of the nature on the way that fights play out, you they're not they're not practical. Using mines just aren't practical in this game, unfortunately. I've got so many. How do I how do I activate it? Oh here it is. So this oh this increases dexterity. Oh definitely hit that. Do I do another one? Oh nice. I don't think it stacks. I think it just extends the time or I'll probably just reset the time. Are right, we all ready? Candorius, hey I want you to get some uh, energy shield. Yeah get an energy shield whatever. All right let's go. Let's go. There you go. Cal Nord. Yep take take care of this freaking goon. Ooh, do I throw a concussion, actually? Sonic grenade, ion, frag. Just just frag the absolute mess out of him, dude. You okay, Vanille? I don't, I don't think she wants her mittens feeding on her right now. Throw it! Throw the frag! can't lock on a hill there he is mission can you reach that start safer is kind of hesitating yeah yeah all right engage throw the frags throw the frags throw the frags throw them throw the frag oh my gosh you're too far away what's what's going on oh my goodness now they're throwing frags they can throw our their frags but we can't throw ours Oh, this is a mine. Whoops. What? What did I just do? Oh, wait. Get out of that. Ooh, there you go. Throw more. There you go. There you go. The frag the mess out of this freaking dumb buffoon, dude. Kalo? Kalo? It's like... He's not cool. I was really hoping he would have been. But he's not. But it's okay. Candorius is. Candorius, they were working together. They were working together at one point. Maybe I should have just left left thrown those to Candorius, actually, instead of instead of mission. Cause Whoa! That was a good frag that he threw. Yeah, because his 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 explosives or whatever it's called, demolitions, demolitions is much higher. Kalo, you didn't stand a chance. How many times have we had to do this? Mission, let's see what you're doing right now. There you, go. you too, safer. Man, they can't even hurt safer right now. Safer is so like amped up on all that all that stuff like I gave him. Can't even touch him. <laughs> now they're just now dealing damage, but it's too late. Kalo is dead. I like in this game because this is this is Star Wars. When you kill somebody, even if it's an important character, you kill them and you keep it moving. There was no cutscene. He's dead. <laughs> Looted, loot him, and that's it. Two thousand credits. Thanks, Mandalorian. Oh, he was a Mandalorian. Mandalorian heavy pistol. Kylo Nord's battle armor. Taking all of his stuff and keep it moving, man. Sucks. Oh well. Keep it moving. Star Wars, man. <laughs> Star Wars is a, it's so freaking fire. Man, my bad. I was having a Star Wars moment. All right, good stuff, y'all. Hey, let's save that. 
Sorry, Kahlo. You showed up talking trash just to get wiped. Like, why were you so loyal to that person? Whoever you were working with. It was that one guy. I can't remember. What the heck is this? Why? I remember when I saw him, I for real thought he would be a party member. Nope. Can I fast travel now? Why not? The game won't let me fast travel out of here. Is that because of padding? Is this, is this trying to pad the length of the game? This is the right way? I think so. This is a this is the toddler baby toddler baby dinosaur or dragon or whatever. Not like it's it's mama. That big old thing that was in that cave. Whoops. What what the heck? There you go. Nice. Wonder why I couldn't fast travel out of there. Hmm. I guess that entire area I was in counted as a dungeon. That entire area. Even though it was outdoors, it still counted as a dungeon. Alright, good stuff. This is a fantastic stopping point right here. A lot accomplished. This energy still shield is still actually active as well. Good stuff. Alright, Kalos finally dead. I thought that guy was already dead. What if he shows up again? He pulls a fire emblem and this guy just keeps showing up, huh? I hope I hope that does not happen. Stay dead, Kalo. Don't come back. You're not gonna kill us. Uh, if you come back, you better be you better be coming back to apologize and to try to join my squad. Other than that, no, don't don't uh uh. Because look, look at this. Hang on. This right here, that that I'm hovering over, it looks like that could be Kahlo. That looks like it could be Kahlo. I don't know who this will be. That's actually interesting. What if that What if that could have been Davin? Davik, that one guy that Kahlo was working for and Candorius was working for. That looks like that could be him. Who could that be? It could be anybody. By the way, this, like I said, great stopping point. Can I exit this? You cannot cancel from the screen at this time. I must okay, I gotta I gotta commit to it. <laughs> We're gonna keep Ken Doris on, on our party for sure though. And obviously mission. She's in, in, integral to the integral to this journey. Integral! Hopefully I'm saying that word correctly. If you watch my VODs, I appreciate it. Also, I'm about to play some Apex. <laughs> if you watch my VODs, I appreciate it. Thank you.